Poor Leonardo DiCaprio, the talented actor and philanthropist, suffers from a severe allergy to marriage and dating women over the age of 25. In 1994, rumor had it that Leonardo DiCaprio and model Bridget Hall were an item. The London Sun claimed Hall and DiCaprio were not just a couple, but that she'd lost her virginity to the actor. Oh, and according to the outlet's source, DiCaprio dumped her like a hot potato, while she supposedly called their time together disappointing. Both Hall and DiCaprio's teams denied this story. It's also worth noting that when asked about DiCaprio, Hall told New York Magazine that, quote, nothing happened. Hall took a hiatus from the spotlight in the early 2000s. However, since then, she's crept back into the social landscape, telling DuJour Magazine that she was ready to get cracking again. I'm getting back into shape and getting to work again. I know I'm not getting any younger, so it's got to be now or never. Leonardo DiCaprio reportedly dated his Basketball Diaries co-star Brittany Daniel briefly in 1994. Brittany starred in the film alongside her twin sister, Cynthia Daniel. And while her relationship with DiCaprio didn't last long, Brittany's career did. She went on to appear in films like White Chicks and Joe Dirt, along with TV shows like Sweet Valley High and most recently, The Game, after a dramatic recovery from stage four cancer in 2011. Come on, I'll treat you to a Dairy Queen. Why are you being all nice? I am always nice to you, Joe Dirt. Back in 1995, Leonardo DiCaprio was just beginning his trend of dating supermodels, and Naomi Campbell was certainly that. You have to wait in line for the next girl, yeah, so that's the part that takes long. She got Naomi, you don't wait in line for the next girl. <laughs> Though the reported relationship wasn't a long one, it has a bit of a surprise ending. The two have remained friends. In 2010, Campbell and DiCaprio were photographed at an event for tiger conservation. And in 2015, they were seen hanging at Jason Statham's house, where DiCaprio was acting as the party's DJ. Even more recently, the two friends were spotted this year in London, hanging out at a wedding. Leo and Naomi seem to be living proof that exes really can be friends. Leonardo DiCaprio and actor Kristen Zhang started dating in 1995. She was his date to the Romeo and Juliet premiere, the film he starred in alongside Claire Danes. Their courtship lasted four years. Interestingly, Zhang reached out to people in September 2022 to push back against the ageist label that's been assigned to DiCaprio, saying that she doesn't consider him a serial dater who goes out of his way to date young women. As she told People magazine, Leo was a very sweet and thoughtful boyfriend. Zhang explained that the breakup was her idea, saying how she felt like she had outgrown that version of herself. She's happily married now, unlike DiCaprio, who, it seems, is kind of against the whole marriage and settling down concept. I uh, would never say something like that. <laughs> After seeing her in a fashion mag, Leonardo DiCaprio set his sights on supermodel Amber Valletta. And being Leo, he did the Hollywood thing. His people got in touch with her people. Though Valletta and DiCaprio's connection didn't stand the test of time, the supermodel never stopped believing in love. Now a mom, an environmental activist, and an actress, Valletta defined love in a recent interview with Sleek. Real love is truth and forgiveness. Love never dies. Danish model Helena Christensen reportedly connected with Leonardo DiCaprio in 1997. Though they weren't ever officially a couple, the movie star and the supermodel seemed to have a blast, spotted out and about at clubs together, catching lots of paparazzi attention. Christensen went on to strike up a romance with Walking Dead star Norman Reedus, and the pair welcomed a child, Mingus. Better be ready for an attack from the smooch monster tonight. In the late 90s, Leonardo DiCaprio had a brief fling with Bijou Phillips, daughter of the Mamas and the Papas frontman John Phillips. Already an established model by the time she crossed paths with DiCaprio, Bijou wanted to get into the movie game. See, you were there all along. And every idea, every decision. Leo connected her with director James Toback, who cast her in his 1999 film, Black and White. I can do whatever I want. I'm a kid in America. After things with DiCaprio fizzled, Bijou went on to date Elijah Wood and Sean Lennon. In 2005, Bijou met actor Danny Masterson at a poker tournament, and the two have been married since 2011. Leonardo DiCaprio supposedly had a short fling, about two months long, with supermodel Eva Herzegova in 1998. Their reported liaison was kept extra hush-hush because the Victoria's Secret model was married to Tico Torres, drummer for Bon Jovi. She and Torres divorced in 1998. Herzegova told Contact Music, I'm not a fan of marriage. A relationship is about evolution and marriage halts the progression of love. I'm a very independent girl and I like solitude. 
Herzegova is currently happily engaged to the father of her three sons, Italian businessman Gregorio Marciage, a man she is referred to as the one. Leonardo DiCaprio and supermodel Giselle Bundchen were a high-profile pairing dating from 2000 to 2005. He's my friend. He's a very good friend of mine. Their relationship was heavily documented. They were photographed everywhere from NBA games to the Oscars. The two eventually parted ways. In 2009, Bunchin discussed their relationship with Vanity Fair magazine. We were very young and we grew together in a lot of ways. We were just not meant to be boyfriend and girlfriend, but I respect him enormously. Part of the shift came because Bunchin found her way of life at the time unsustainable and unhealthy. As she wrote in her book, Lessons, My Path to a Meaningful Life, she wanted to stop drinking, smoking, and overworking herself. But DiCaprio wasn't on the same page. As Bunchin wrote, was I alone in wanting to do some serious soul-searching while he stayed the same? In the end, unfortunately, the answer was yes. <laughs> Let's not talk about that! <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Leonardo DiCaprio and Bar Raffaelli had quite a long ride together, starting at the Las Vegas U2 concert where they met in 2005. DiCaprio and Raffaelli even split for a time in 2009, but then got back together until 2011, when they called it quits. And while Raffaelli did go on to marry and start a family with Israeli businessman Adi Ezra, DiCaprio has remained a bachelor. And when you hear views on marriage, it's no surprise, as he told Reveal magazine, I don't know whether I'll ever get married. I've seen too many supposedly happy marriages go down. Wow, you can't believe what you read. Blake Lively and Leonardo DiCaprio began dating in May 2011, but by October of that year, they had already split. He's trying to torture me. It all started when they were photographed hugging on a yacht during the Cannes Film Festival, kicking their relationship into a state of high cuteness. The jet-setting pair went to Disneyland, canoodled across Europe, and rode bikes around New York, where Lively was shooting her hit show, Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl screenwriter Joshua Safran later told Vanity Fair about a unique dating ritual between the two. Blake had a doll that she took photos of that she sent to Leo. Blake was way ahead of the curve. It was pre-Instagram. She was documenting her life in photographs in a way that people were not yet doing. After his split from Blake Lively, Leonardo DiCaprio dated Victoria's Secret model Erin Heatherton for about a year, from 2011 to 2012. Backstage at a Victoria's Secret show in 2012, Heatherton spoke with E! News about coping with the heartbreak. I couldn't feel more beautiful, and I'm with all my friends, so it's wonderful. I really feel like I earned my wings this year. The network also spoke with Heatherton's best friend and fellow model, Lily Aldridge, who joked that Heatherton would have no trouble at all finding a new boyfriend. In May 2013, Leonardo DiCaprio began dating Victoria's Secret model Tony Garn. Alas, things hit a speed bump after the actor was spotted partying with an entourage of over 20 women. Though they split in 2014, this wasn't exactly the end for Garn and DiCaprio. In September 2017, the pair were spotted hanging out again in New York City and photographed leaving a club together. But Garn ultimately moved on. In October 2020, she married Alex Pettifer, and the couple eventually welcomed a daughter. Leonardo DiCaprio began dating Kelly Rohrbach in 2015, a model and golfer who graced Sports Illustrated, GQ, and many other magazine covers. Smart and athletic, Rohrbach attended Georgetown University on a golf scholarship. However, despite the photos of the happy couple biking around New York, Kelly and Leo broke up in January 2016. DiCaprio concentrated on his role in The Revenant, and Rohrbach rebooted by focusing on taking over the iconic role made famous by Pam Anderson, CJ, in the 2017 Baywatch film. In 2016, Leonardo DiCaprio began dating Adam Levine's ex, Nina Ekdal, and the two were serious jet-setters, traveling to Montauk, the Bahamas, and Ibiza, among other amazing spots. Ekdal even got close to DiCaprio's mother, Ermeline, when the three of them celebrated his birthday in French Polynesia in November 2016. Leo and Nina also attended a Golden Globes after-party together in January 2017 and Madonna's Oscar after-party that February. Everything seemed to be going well for the couple, but by May 2017, the romance had run its course. Camilla Moroni and Leonardo DiCaprio met in May 2017, when the model was 19 years old and the actor was in his 40s. Relationship rumblings wouldn't surface for a few months, though. Then, DiCaprio was spotted leaving her home in Los Angeles, and the 20-plus age gap between them raised some eyebrows. Moroni told the Los Angeles Times that the skepticism was undeserved. There's so many relationships in Hollywood, and in the history of the world, where people have large age gaps. I just think anyone should be able to date who they want to date. Moroni sat with DiCaprio at the 2020 Oscars, but it is worth noting that she did not walk the red carpet with him. The two announced their breakup in August 2022, just a few months after she turned 25.